guys welcome back to my youtube channel so this week um i will be doing our pajama lounge reveal so if you've been following me on my instagram page you'll know that we've been trying to switch the space up and basically just make it more homey and comfortable for the rest of my family when we bought this house the space was basically empty there was nothing except for cupboards which were in this area and we used to use them for linen and towels we then um always felt that the space had so much potential but we never really um knew exactly what we wanted even though we had an idea that we wanted to look different to what it was eventually um one day i was scrolling on pinterest and i came across a certain picture um I would say it's a pajama lounge, I guess, belonging to someone else. And I knew that it was almost identical to what we actually wanted. I then showed it to my husband and he also absolutely loved it. We opted for push to open cupboards, mainly for two reasons. Firstly, AJ is still very young and he, he's quite inquisitive. So he's often opening the cupboards, um, especially if they have handles. So we decided if they are pushed to open, then he won't realize that there's actually something inside for him to open. Secondly, we felt that um, push to open cupboards would be would give the room a more clean and seamless look Which is very fitting for the aesthetic that we're going for in this room So these push to open cupboards are at least beneficial for now. We don't know how long it's gonna last um, Before AJ discovers that you can actually open them So if you're a mom and you guys have these type of cupboards in your home Let me know how long it took for your little one to discover that they can actually push them so that they can open and then if we move to the left side of the pajama lounge we've got two floating shelves which i'm very excited about because i'm trying to get into more reading this year can you please guys hold me accountable i want to read at least um five books before the end of the year i really really struggle so much with finishing books i was telling a friend recently that it's such a like i like books and i love reading but it's so hard to get past 10 15 pages because my concentration span is not the best but i'm trying my best and one of my new year's resolutions is to read more and to finish the books that i've started reading so zam will also be able to put some of his books because he works a lot and he's in a very specialized field which requires him to gain more knowledge and read more and therefore he can put the books there since he'll also be using the space to work and he'll have better access to the books that he needs when he's working. So in order to maximize the space, we decided to do a workstation on the far end of the pajama lounge. This means that Sam and I can work there um, whenever we need to. And once AJ is much older and has to go to big school and do homework, he'll also be able to use the space. We received this couch, the Sylvia couch from Sean, and I like how it fits into the space. I decided to style it with these scatter cushions that I got from Mr. Price Home, and there's also picture frames from Mr. Price Home. I, however, feel that the wall is still a bit bare, so I'm thinking of adding more frames. What do you guys think? So the previous light switches were white, but Zam is so obsessed with light switches and he decided to change them to black and I quite love how they turned out. If we can do a quick recap, this is what the room looked like previously before we renovated and this is how it looks now. I am so happy with how it turned out and I hope you guys like it too. So yeah guys, that's it from me with the Pajama Lounge Makeover. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you love the home content and if you want me to do more of it. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.